Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the supply drop system for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and I'm going to do like a part 2 of the video I posted a couple days ago where I talked about the key glitch, uh, but I'm not really going to focus on the repercussions of that because that's what I talked about in the last video, uh, but instead I do want to look towards the future of this event and discuss that with you guys, but before I get into that, I do want to talk about the gameplay really quick. I go 37-5 with the Wreck Assault Rifle, I'm playing some tactical TDM, and you're going to notice that instead of rushing towards the middle of the map, I do go around from the right side and flank them from behind I do catch like two or three players off guard by doing this strategy so uh, that's what I do in tactical TDM I like to flank around from behind instead of rushing straight into the middle of the map so uh, yeah again I do go 37-5 enjoy the gameplay in the background and uh, let's go ahead and get started so basically if you guys don't know what the key glitch was uh, a couple days ago you were able to uh, get unlimited amount of keys and uh, supply jumps and, and even salvage too by doing this glitch all you have to do is go to local play and then bring up the uh, the little supply job menu and then uh, you could basically just press the 20 keys from the uh, holiday event of unlimited amount of times and that's how you were able to get uh, basically an uh, infinite amount of keys and now over on reddit there was a lot of posts from uh, from the people that did this glitch and they were talking about like what they got from their own supply jobs and they, there were people that posted like uh, them opening 60,000 keys 30,000 keys and 20,000 keys and so on and so forth uh, but the one I want to focus on is on screen right now so I'm gonna read it off to you guys right now uh, but basically this guy opened 500 supply jobs and that kind of calculated up to a thousand dollars now that is not my math that's his his math according to the reddit post so if it's wrong don't quote me on that uh, but yeah, so this guy opened up 500 supply jobs again It's gonna equate to a thousand dollars and he said I did the exploit spent two hours opening supply jobs Still wasn't able to get all epic variants FYI I did this knowing that my account would probably get banned or reset and I didn't do it on the account I play on either after 500 supply jobs I had most of the epics after spending salvage I had all but four epic weapons in the prototype lab I didn't get the bazoku corruption or the machete none of them the odds of getting one of them are apparently extremely low And then he goes on to say that that this has really shown me exactly how shitty these supply jobs are and uh, honestly that couldn't be more true because I'm not gonna lie the, the supply job system in infinite warfare might be a lot worse than black ops 3 I don't know in, in bo3 I pretty much had every single weapon in the game besides like five melee weapons so I I did pretty well with supply jobs not gonna lie but in this game they're just totally a major whip off, rip off I don't know what's worse this game or, or black ops 3 but in infinite warfare I have opened up my fair share of supply jobs and uh, to be honest with you guys I haven't gotten a single epic variant in this game I'm not even gonna lie I haven't gotten a single epic variant or probably even a legendary too and that honestly is just so crazy because I do play this game a fair fairly good amount and to not have a single epic or legendary variant is really crazy to me so they kind of want you to buy cod points I know at the end of the day this is a business but I mean come on you should be able to get rewarded for playing this game and if you say just save up the salvage you have to craft the weapon you want uh, well the salvage earn rate in this game is just as bad as the key rate like you just saw in today's ho or day three's holiday bundle we just got 200 salvage like what are we supposed to do with that honestly like we should be getting better stuff from these holiday bundle events it's uh, I don't know man like I really wish we'd be getting better stuff from these events I know we have a couple more days until this event ends but I mean a calling card 20 keys and then 200 salvage like that's not really anything that doesn't really help us that much out in the game so I feel that we should be getting better stuff from these events I know like I said we do have a couple more days until this ends but uh, for these past couple days the uh, the gifts that we've been getting haven't really been that great and really what I'm trying to say is they are kind of forcing us to buy cod points like if, if you want to have good stuff in the game if you want to do well in the game and have good variants you are kind of forced to buy cod points and that honestly kind of makes me sad because I feel that you should be able to get rewarded for playing the game and I think if we were able to have challenges for the base weapon in the game that could could in return unlock the variants of uh, any gun we want so like say for example we'll take the k-bar uh, say one of the challenges is like get 500 headshots with this gun then you can unlock the epic variant of this gun I think that's a great idea but like I said at the end of the day this is a business and um, so yeah I mean now we know that the supply job earn rate is terrible uh, but like, like I said it honestly does amaze me how this guy spent or hypothetically spent over $1,000 on supply jobs and still didn't get every single weapon in the game that is just so crazy to me uh, but yeah, there is some good that could come out of this event like uh, like I said now We know the the supply job earn rate is terrible and maybe this could change the the supply job earn rate Like maybe they could see that it is kind of a ripoff in the game and then uh, just change the earn rate I don't know that would be a great idea, but 
I don't know, it's just so crazy. Like, you are kind of forced to spend money in order to get good stuff in the game, but so you have to spend a lot more money than, than what the game is worth in order to get good weapons in the game. But I'm not trying to tell you guys what you should spend your money on, uh, but if you do end up spending money on COD points and don't actually end up getting what you want and complain to Activision or Infinity Ward, then uh, that's your fault because now we know the earn rate is terrible. And um, so yeah, that's just my take on this, guys. Again, like I said, there is some good that came out of this. I'm probably not going to buy any more COD points for this year. Maybe for Modern Warfare Remastered, but for Infinite Warfare, it's just not going to happen for me. Um, but yeah, tell me what you guys think about this, guys, down in the comments. Also, drop a like if you guys did enjoy. And before I head off, guys, I do want to say thank you all so much for watching my videos. If, you, uh, if you're uh, supposed to be spending time with your family, you're taking time out of your day to uh, watch my content. And honestly, that does kind of uh, uh, make me happy inside because, you know, you're giving up your time that you're supposed to be spending with your family to uh, let me entertain you for just a couple minutes out of the day. So I really do appreciate that a lot. And uh, yeah, Merry Christmas to you guys, Merry Christmas to your families, and a Happy Holidays. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'm a Vert, so have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll catch you guys later.